Yeah, this is a thing I listened to this morning. Alexa was reading the news to me. According to even The Hill, Liz Cheney of Wyoming, a Republican representative, got outsed. Or should I say not outsed? Got unseated, and there's going to be another. There's going to be another person in her chair uh, coming, coming next year, most likely. And it's all because she didn't want to say anything for Trump. She didn't want to go along with the lies. So apparently, there's continuing to be two types of Republicans. Republicans that are part of the GOP, the Grand Old Party, and Trump Republicans. And if you're not for Trump, you're against him. And what that means for being against Trump is that you, you're nothing. You're nothing. Um, and he has a news channel dedicated to him literally dedicated to him and it's like oh my god wow you know on the political ads even now we're like what the fuck is going on here all of the republicans are saying that democrats and liberals and even independents it's not even independents it's not even just that it's just if you're not a republican and for trump you're shit. So, yeah, Cheney was soundedly defeated by Harriet Hagman, an attorney and former Republican National Committee member who was endorsed by Trump last year. Hagman will be a heavy favorite to succeed Cheney next year as a deep red state's lone representative in the House. Yeah, that is a sad day. I'm sorry. Kind of like, kind of like, you know, when Hillary Clinton had to concede to her winner, you know, Trump. Trump should have never been president, period. No, never. But any Republicans will deny that. Any unreformed Republicans that voted for him will deny that as well. It's just a sad moment in our history. It really is. By the Associated Press, it says that gas prices dip just below $4 for the first time in five months. Gee, Republicans, are you still going to say that Biden isn't doing a damn thing? Evers isn't doing a damn thing in Wisconsin. Fucking pay millions of dollars to try to get Michaels in to reseat Governor Evers. Hmm. And then in 24, let's see who we can unseat Biden with. Let's fuck up the country even more. You know, it's called, you know, Republicans should actually have a new nickname called Fuck Ups. Here we go again. Michaels and Johnson. Look at that shit. Seriously. Look at that shit. We have 40, uh, 84 days to make this happen. That is, 84 days to change Wisconsin and change the world. I think it's going to happen, Michael said. Get out there, spread the message, and work hard. There's no time to leave anything on the table. I just want somebody who's going to take care of me and take care of my family, Michael said. Describing the message voters want. That means a strong, robust economy and reducing crime. If we take care of those two things, all those people will be with us not only just for the election but future elections oh my god really former washington county supervisor don crefall advised michaels to focus on business experience in the campaign you're a problem solver you make things happen you want to do you want to do you you what to do? What the hell? You are a problem solver. You make things happen. You what to do? Oh, apparently the person doesn't know how to do a sentence structure either. You know what to do. Take risks. Get the job done. Wow. The person at um, the Thomas McMillan that wrote this report 
wrote this piece needs to literally learn how to inject some descriptive words. Seriously. Anyways, um, God help us. God help us. This coming fall. This is interesting. I seen this earlier. I wanted to make a note of this. So Wisconsin School District bans political black lives matter and pride flags in classrooms. It does. And this comes from the examiner. So my question well, it says, a Wisconsin school board voted last week to ban teachers from displaying Black Lives Matter, right? And gay pride flags in, the, in their classrooms, saying such displays are political messaging. Okay. Well, back in the day when I was going through, going through grade school and high school, well, back then it was junior high, high school, the only flag that we had was the only flags that we had was the Wisconsin flag and the American flag. That was it. We didn't have Black Lives Matter flags. We didn't have great gay pride flags, even trans pride flags. We didn't have any of that. So my, my question to you all is, does it matter if we have it or not now? You know, um, when I went to the DMV not too long ago, I saw the gay pride flag. I'm like, hell yeah. But when it comes to a school, you know, the institution of learning, and my understanding between the two is, is that, you know, if you have a pride flag, even a, you know, a regular pride flag... Uh, well, in this case, if you can be um, integrated by having a trans pride flag. I've seen those too, right? If you have those flying at the institution, right outside, that makes the institution more welcoming. It really does. So why not have it? Why be so partial to... Or not having it. Hey guys, I found this interesting. The CBS News poll GOP House seat lead shrinks as Biden approval rises. Interesting, isn't that? The CBS News Battleground Tracker estimates Republicans at 226. So yeah, CBS News CBS News Battleground Tracker estimates Republicans at 226 seats today, down from 230. Would be a whole four in July. So a majority of 218 is needed to win control. Can we do it? Can we flip the house? Cool, everyone. Governor Evers directs 90 million more in federal funds to schools. So a plan that provides an additional 7.5 million for Milwaukee classrooms over the next four years. Evers said that the funds are aimed at helping school officials recruit and retrain teachers combating staffing shortages that have emerged emerged since the corona coronavirus pandemic began in early 2020 that's cool so does that 90 90 million dollars means it's coming from so instead of going into pandemic i'm so it's, okay it's going to the schools no worries absolutely thank you governor evers for thinking of your wisconsinites and our future is in our teachers hands or instructors or educators hands thank you